There were more than 1,400 U-boat commanders in the German Navy during World War II. 574 of them died during the war. The usual rank for an U-boat commander was Oberleutnant zur See or Captain Leutnant. So, first lieutenant. The commander had the highest responsibility as he routinely made life or death decisions affecting the fate of the entire crew. It was not surprising, therefore, that the crew identified closely with their captain and were especially proud if he had been awarded a medal. So here are the top 10 most successful U-boat commanders of the Kriegsmarine. Number 10. Georg Lassen. He sunk 26 ships during four patrols. Lassen was a watch officer of the U-29 at the outbreak of the war and later the skipper of the U-160 and the recipient of the Knight's Cross. In June of 1943, Lassen was reassigned as a tactics instructor with the 1st U-Boat Training Division. He became a businessman after the war and died in January of 2012 at the age of 96. Number 9. Günther Prien he sank 30 ships during 10 patrols. He was the first U-boat commander to receive the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross and the first member of the Kriegsmarine to receive the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves. It was Germany's highest military decoration at the time. Under Prien's command, the submarine U-47 sunk British battleship HMS Royal Oak in Scapa Flow. Number 8. Herbert Emil Schulze. He sunk 51 ships. He commanded the U-48 for eight patrols during the early part of the war and was also the recipient of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves. Number 7. Karl Friedrich Merten. He sunk 27 ships during five patrols. Commanding the U-68 in the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea and the Indian Ocean, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in June of 1942 and the oak leaves of the Iron Cross in November of 1942. On the second patrol, Merten helped to rescue the crews of the auxiliary cruiser Atlantis, which had been sunk by the Royal Navy. Merten was arrested by the French and accused of allegedly wrongful sinking of a French tanker. He was acquitted and later worked in the shipbuilding industry. Merten, who had written his memoir and book on U-boat warfare, died of cancer in May of 1993. Number 6. Heinrich Lehmann Willenbrock. He sunk 25 ships during 10 patrols. He commanded four U-boats, which gained widespread recognition when one of its patrol was documented and publicized by an accompanying member of a propaganda company. The story of the U-96 was eventually made into a mini-series and film called Das Boot, in which the captain was portrayed by Jürgen Prochnow. After the war, Lehmann Willenbrock became a merchant ship captain serving as the first captain of Germany's nuclear freighter Otto Hahn. Number 5. Viktor Schütze. He sunk 35 ships during seven patrols. 
he was a recipient of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves. In August of 1941, he retired from front service, taking up positions as the commander of the second U-boat flotilla. In March of 1943, he became the commander of the training flotillas in the Baltic Sea in Flensburg, in which position he served until the end of the war. He died in Frankfurt am Main in 1950. Number 4. Heinrich Liebe Liebe was credited with sinking of 34 ships for a total of 187,000 gross register tons. Number 3. Eric Topp He sunk 35 ships in 13 patrols. He was the recipient of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords. After the war, he served with the Federal German Navy, in which he reached the rank of Konter Admiral or Rear Admiral. He later served in NATO as well. Number 2. Wolfgang Lüth He sank 46 ships during 16 patrols. In October of 1940, he was transferred, this time to an ocean-going submarine, the U-43. After two patrols on U-181, the second being his longest of the war, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves, swords and diamonds. He was the first U-boat commander to be honored during World War II. Lutz's last service position was commander of the Naval Academy near Flensburg. He was accidentally shot and killed by a German sentry a few days after the war on the night of the 13th of May 1945. And number one, Otto Kretschmer. From September of 1939, until his capture in March of 1941, he sank 44 ships, including one warship, a total of 274 tons. For this, he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords, among other awards. He earned the nickname Silent Otto both for his successful use of the silent running capability of the U-boats and for his reluctance to transmit radio messages during patrols. After the war, he served in the German Federal Navy, from which he retired in 1970. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.